This is Dark Monster Moon 87 here, and today's Chaos Walkthrough will be about, you guessed it, <laughs> Louis Sean. Yeah. So, today's Chaos Walkthrough commentary will also be about loyalty and real friends. Now, I'm going to tell you all a story that happened a few hours ago. And I'm not gonna lie, it, I, th I honestly thought it was fucked up. And I wouldn't want that to happen to any of my friends for that matter. Well, one of my friends, I'm not gonna say any names or whatever, but one of my friends, um, he was cool with somebody that they basically ran a site and they were trying to get people, gaming partnerships and everything. And his friend got this big crew on his site and everything and he included my friend in his site and he said you know make these plays and walkthroughs of old school gaming and everything and my friend was just so happy to be a part of that family that that dude brought him in so out of nowhere the dude he promised him an HD PVR he didn't pull through with that which, you know, if you're going to promise somebody or give them your word, then do so. Don't tell somebody you're going to do all this shit and then you don't do it. That's not right because that's making you look like a fucking liar and you're not a man of your word. Therefore, you know, nobody's going to believe you. And on top of that, if you're the leader of a crew, you need to inform your crew the news, what's going on and everything. To make a long story short, he jumped ship and joined Machinima and left his crew to rot basically and left his site and everything and everybody found out later on that he joined Machinima so I think honestly that's fucked up that's not being a real friend he should have let everybody know he should have been more organized and very honest with you know his surroundings and the crew he was in that's just being real you don't do that shit that's you know that's not right and I don't think anybody should go through something like that like that's crazy that's like one of your friends telling you yo I'll give you my word and I'll be there for you and everything and when shit hits the fan they're not even there and nothing and you're all by yourself that's just crazy another thing I gotta talk about is people just hating because certain people got gaming partnerships and they wonder why uh, honestly I don't why even bother being a hater? I, I really don't understand that shit. I think it's the most stupid fucking thing to do. But for some reason, everybody gets a kick out of that dumb shit. And to me, I don't, I don't think it's even cool. Like, don't even bother stooping to that level. Especially if you're like in your 20s or 30s and you're hating on somebody that's way younger than you because they have a gaming partnership or their content looks better than yours don't even bother just work hard at what you do that's like if you want to join a certain job and be a doctor for example and everything you have to work hard to get to where you want to go you're not going to get spoon fed or somebody's going to come out of nowhere and go i'll make you a doctor right now without you having to go to school that's not gonna happen like whatever you want in your life you have to go for it on your own i mean you can get help if you ask for help and everything you can get advice but don't bite the hand that feeds you and don't shit on people that give you advice that's just so childish that's really immature and i don't think that's right this character is badass. I like this character a lot. This character's special attack ability makes him vulnerable to 
enemy attack, so he can eat an enemy attack for like a few seconds. I love his EX also, it just stuns everybody. They stay in motion for a while, and then he just kicks ass. That's just crazy. The moral of the story is, is that if you're gonna be a true friend, then be honest with your friends to a certain point. That's if they wanna hear your honesty. But as for having a crew and telling your friends, oh, I'm gonna get you partnered in this, that, and the third, that's, that's a serious thing. That's nothing to joke around about. You shouldn't tell anybody you're gonna get this for them and get that and you don't get them a damn thing. Just don't even bother doing that. And especially if you're grown as hell and you're telling younger kids that, that, that makes you look like a fucking douche. And honestly, people like that don't deserve a fucking gaming partnership. I don't even know why some people have it and they're lying to people. There's people out there in the fucking internet world that are lying to people saying I can get you a partnership, all you have to do is sub and be active on my channel for a week and you will receive a partnership. If you're not active on my channel for a week, then you will not get a gaming partnership. That's the biggest fucking bullshit I've ever fucking heard to be honest with you. And shit like that is shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it makes me fucking laugh. I think it's comical. And I think people that do that shit should stop. Why can't it be the way it used to be? How the gaming community used to be back then? Like, you earned your subs. You worked and bust your ass to get to where you had to be. You didn't keep begging and begging and being a kiss ass and everything. I mean, you know, no, no offense to those people that do do that. I mean, I understand because of the YouTube incident lately with their new fucking rules and everything. I highly understand, you know, it's not a problem, but it's certain ways of doing, you know, building a channel that I see people literally selling their soul and saying, yo, I would pay you to help me. And if somebody's gonna help you, they're gonna help you out of the kindness of their heart. They're gonna check your content. They're gonna say, wow, this person's content is different. It's not like everybody else's. I mean, cause not for nothing, there's so much fucking Call of Duty content and everything. And it's, there's a whole bunch of different content out there, period. But it's just that some content gets overlooked at. And people ask for different content. And, you know, everybody's like, yo, check my friend out. And sometimes some people are so busy that they really can't check that person's channel out. And another thing that I was studying is that to be sponsored with certain gaming, uh, companies and everything you basically have to be on a team like street fighter type shit one tournaments and everything and i actually think that the hack and slash community for once should, should be able to be sponsored like even though there's no tournaments which i think there should be tournaments i think there should be the type of tournaments that whoever can be the stage and all the generals and everything at a certain time limit wins the tournament. So if you have a better time limit than the person you're playing against, then you win. You get what I'm saying? But, you know, unfortunately, people that sponsor gaming channels or any, any person, any gamer out there for that matter, I noticed there's no hack and slash gamers that are sponsored and I actually been doing research and I want to try to be the first hack and slash gamer out there to be sponsored and if that happens as you know sponsors review my channel I hope that happens whether it's Elgato, Control Freaks, uh, Squid Grips 
Scuff Gaming, Astro. There's so many people that can sponsor Mad Cats. I'm hoping it happens. That's one of my goals I'm aiming for. This character is pretty damn good, man. <laughs> I just noticed that completely. This character is taking a lot of damage out of enemies. I love the fact that he's Wonder Type because I like Wonder Type characters. And he builds the Musu meter pretty damn fast. Dang face trying to attack me. And he's gone. Beautiful combo. So I'm actually trying to make moves also, and like usual, I try to learn something new every day about gaming channels or gaming also, and just about life. And honestly, I'm a very open-minded person. Like I, what I wouldn't want for myself, I wouldn't want for anybody else. So. I wouldn't want none of my subs or viewers or anybody in my life to get treated like fucking shit because that's just not right. Who the hell wants to just have their day based on somebody treating them like shit? Like, <laughs> that's just fucked up, you know? Wow, Zhang Liao got his ass worked. He has to admit that he got his ass whooped. He took the ass whooping with pride. Zhang Liao. Oh. There you go. These enemy generals are just all around me right now. It's crazy. Whoa! He's all the way back there, but I got reached with this attack, so let's see why. Damn, look at these guys. You see that? They we're doing like this little matrix dance. They're like, oh, the electricity. He shocked me. The electricity hit me in the fucking face. A little EX, everybody gets paralyzed, paralyzer, and then oh, let's let's go crazy. Hold on, let's go, let's go. Get a little crazy here. Let me try his jump charge. Wow, I like his jump charge. I like it. Whoa, hold on. It's a decent amount of damage. I definitely like his jump charge. Boogsy, I hope you get hit by this Musu. And yes, you did. Fuck you and good night, Boogsy. Oh, he's still alive. Look at that. Boogsy is fucking mad. He is pissed right now. He's like, you hit me. I love how I can just do the EX attack and then... It looks like he's doing like a spin when I hit the special attack button while I'm doing the EX, see? And then I just charge, spirit charge through the crowd. Hiya! I'm Lu Bei's son, motherfucker. Combos, boom, right behind me. And then he gets hit by this, and he's gone. My guys are like, yeah, we're kicking ass. This is for Sparta. Oh. Whoa, that was a close call, ladies and gentlemen. Risky move right there. 
Got a little bit too excited for that moment. Oh, it needs it. Stay back. Stay back, nigga. Ah, take this, Niza. Enjoy your little trip in hell. Oh. Niza, you are dead. Okay, let's see. Run through here. Holy crap. So many enemies. We have to break through. Okay, I got a few minutes. I can definitely beat this. Definitely kick ass. Come on, hack and slash, hack and slash. Mr. Hack and Slash is gonna kick ass. Kick ass. Oh yeah. Where the fuck is Lu Bu at? There he goes. Fuck you, Lu. Bye. Oh, piece of crap. The boo gets treated like a fucking rag doll in this game, don't he? I think so. I wonder how he's gonna look in Dynasty Warriors 8. Yeah, take this. He's like, oh, I'm dizzy as shit. He looks like he's dancing. Look at him. That's a crazy ass camera angle that I just got of him. That was just. It looked like he was dancing his ass off. He's like, oh, you guys are doing a number on me. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, look at him. Damn, that was crazy. He was still alive. It looked like he was just dancing while he was dead. That's fucking cool. Gotta admit, that was fucking cool. <laughs> Here we go. Running, running. What are you doing? Running. Oh, and Orochi just got in the damn way. Rochi, come on, let's battle. Yes, dance. Yes, dance. A Rochi X must be like, what the hell? Who is this character? His power is over 9,000. Damn, you just fell right into that Orochi X. This is Dark Masamune 87. I hope you all enjoyed this Chaos Solo walkthrough. Please stay tuned for more. And I hope you all enjoyed the commentary also. Thank you all for watching. I love you all. Shout out to all my new subs. Please continue subbing and liking and supporting. And thank you all again. Peace.